Hi, my name is Cedric, and I am both the writer for Forbearance, and I'm playing the role of Jonah. Yeah, it was it's it's very personal and intimate, and especially with the heavy themes, uh, and and it was a pretty short timeline to get the first draft done, and so a lot of it was taking a lot of walks. Um, I know when I, I kind of pitched the concept, and so I went like on a hike to really think through it all, and also kind of think about how to do it healthily, because I, I think when you write, you put a lot of yourself into it, and so trying to stay aware of where I was with it and, and that I wasn't just kind of, you know, pouring trauma or like existing too much in that place of grief was really, really important because I think it's important that the script had levity too and had some humor to it, that it wasn't just like pain the whole time. So uh, it was good, but I think I wrote 12 pages a day to get the first draft done. And uh, that, that was a really good exercise. It was a great way to kind of test my own writing habits and kind of push through some of that, um, you know, the difficulty of you hit writer's block and it's kind of, you know, that wasn't really, writer's block wasn't an option, so. Playing a character that you've written is always really interesting because as a writer you have one way of doing it and at least on the first draft I didn't know that I would be. And so it was kind of neat doing a second draft and thinking within that and, and usually when I know I'm writing for a particular actor I kind of try to write for some of their habits that I see and also kind of help them break some of those so give them some choices and options. And so doing it for myself, obviously I'm very aware of my own tics and some of the habits I fall back on. And so I wanted to push on that. And um, for me, it, it was really exciting to get to engage with the parental relationship in the script and to really try to emphasize that and keep Jonah as a sort of centering force between Callie and Josh. And so that, that, was, that was really neat. And it was really, really uh, fun to be able to look at the scope and the arc of the character within the realm of also what I would want to see as an actor. I think the thing I'm most excited about with this film is that it, it, it doesn't dwell in what one might call toxic positivity. It doesn't sit in this place of everything's perfect, everything's gonna be great. It actually addresses the grief and the pain of what's going on and sits in that. And I think that that's a difficult thing for films to do. And it's a difficult thing for audiences to, to watch, but I think that that's something wonderful that we get to do with art. And so to get to be a part of that and to have written this and get to have this, and I think conversations will come out of it and maybe it's an opportunity for um, people to think about things differently and recognize that it's okay to just be upset or to be angry or to just be in pain and you don't have to say, oh, everything's great, everything's good. Like, this is a real thing that people go through, that I went through. and and to deal with that is is necessary. You can't just avoid it. And so I think that's what most excites me is kind of that relatability uh, on that. And I hope everybody that watches it enjoys it and takes something personal out of it. And I can't wait for you all to see it.